So a known issue with PETG, PETG, and some other filaments is that they are hygroscopic, meaning they absorb water out of the air. <clears throat> so when you print with them, uh, you'll literally get little bubbles because the water that they've absorbed is boiling out of them as you're printing. And so you want to keep these enclosed with some kind of desiccant, uh, like silica gel. This is similar to those little packets that will come in uh, beef jerky or vitamins or something like that, but you can buy them in bulk. I got this on eBay. It was pretty cheap, probably 10 bucks, one quart, two pounds, and it's going to be uh, enough for most people, I imagine. has some instructions on the back. It, it says orange indicating, and so when they come to you, they're bright orange, and after a while, they uh, look more like this green color, kind of a olive or drab green, uh, olive drab, and it says uh, reactivate by uh, placing an oven, sh oven safe sheet for half an hour to two hours or defrost for 10 minutes in the microwave. Um, someone said that if you have a gas oven, that's not going to work because during the gas combustion, a lot of water is released and so it's going to be high humidity inside your gas oven. So they say that will only work with an electric oven. But I have this uh, dehydrator already uh, and it came with this um, little sheet. Uh, which is, uh, they, people use, I guess, mostly to make, uh, like homemade fruit roll-ups. You can see it's just, uh, here's what a normal, oops, here's what a normal sheet looks like, and it's just this sort of insert that goes on top, and it looks kind of like wax paper. You could probably use something like wax paper, but obviously it's somewhat firm plastic, <clears throat> somewhat firm plastic, and <clears throat> I just kind of spread them out on there. And I'm going to put it on this thing. It's <clears throat> probably 12, 14 inches across. I'm going to turn it all the way up and put it on uh, for, I'll probably look at it after an hour and we'll see what color it looks like. So what color it is now. Right, so this is just after 35 minutes. So I'm just going to stir it a little bit and leave it in there for another probably 30 minutes. And then it'll be bright, bright orange, and we'll be ready to go. I love that this stuff is reusable. That's so awesome. So this is probably only a third or maybe a quarter of what's in, of what is in a two pound jug. And I imagine I could probably get other uh, of those. I could probably order these little trays. Um, I'm sure some people will probably 3D print them. You had a big enough bed, uh, and then I could do like probably the whole jug in one go, but I usually just do one at a time right now. now that is what we want to see. That's about another hour, which was more than was necessary, but those are ready to go again. Bright, bright orange. I'm going to try to put these somewhere and not spill them everywhere. I usually just Little trash bag. Dump. Oops. One handed, still a few. And then I'll just cut out a corner of this or maybe tape some paper on it, make it a cone, put it back in the tub, ready to go again. Now, here's what I do for the filament just put that in there. I made this little cardboard ring. Pretty simple, just put it around there. It's got to fit right on top. And I usually just do that for a couple hours. And that seems to have dried it out real well. This is, this, uh, yeah, this thing is great. Highly recommended.